Denver's new comedy panel talk show, Casa de Haha. Here we are, gang, live, Denver Open Media Studios for the brand new Denver comedy talk show, Casa de Haha. I, I wanted to help you out because I'm Latino. Well, who are our guests today? We have uh, a comedy supergroup of sorts. Real wow. tough outfit. And they, they already hate us calling them that. So, uh, we have the Pussy Bros here today, everybody. Yes. Let's meet this fantastic group, starting right here to the left of me with Christy Bukley. Hello, I'm Christy Bukley. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go through the line. And Janae Burris. Done. Right. Yes. That Jordan Wiliba. Me too. And Rachel Weeks. Uh, and they uh, are the Pussy Bros. Yeah. Or Pussy Brothers. No, no, I was about to ask oh. you. Bros is an abbreviation. Is, there's a dot after that? Like Mario Bros? Um, I prefer Pussy Brothers. I feel like it rolls off the, t the you know, the same syllables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. PBZ. Oh, nice. It's <laughs> it's it is hip. It's millennial. That's for the Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm down with either. I mean, but I, I made the, the logo, which is Pussy Bros. I should, have, should I add a dot right. after it? You're the graphic yes, designer. There is a dot. Right. There isn't a dot. You oh, made all the I think it's beautiful, no which dot. we're going to show right there. Oh, you're yeah. looking at it now. Oh, oh what a beautiful oh, logo. Oh, oh. And you all oh, represent hey. the beautiful little kitty cats. <laughs> we yeah. Do. Yeah. 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 Great. And did each a one cat each? specifically correlates to you? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, loosely. Do you want to guess? <laughs> well, given that uh, the picture will be added in post production, <laughs> yeah. uh, that would make it a little difficult. Oh, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> say, but, you know, but I think. Oh. Yeah. We've got a shirt. There's a shirt in the audience. <laughs> should should shirt. Shirt. You could like Mr. point Mind it out. Modeling for us. All right. <laughs> got one of our cool. Yeah, come come out of here. Come up. We it have, looks we cute on you. Such a yeah. fit. Yeah. That's how it's Jesus. supposed to fit. One of our Why does it fit like There you go. Yeah, if you just stand right sure. there. Yeah. Look hey. at that. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate that. Good shirt. No Maybe we needed. don't know which, which pussy cat is, belongs to each of you, but we do have a little segment here called Chachki Talk. Chachki Talk. Chachki Talk. It is it's sponsored by our fake, our fake sponsor, <laughs> Chewy's Chachkis, located on Lafayette and 15th, I think. Okay. Just made that up. So we have a table of uh, Chachkis, mm -hmm. and, and we ask you to pick one mm -hmm. that represents you and why. It's, it's kind of mm -hmm. like the Dalai Lama when he gets reincarnated. They put out the items, and you choose the one that resonates with your soul. Mm -hmm. Oh, so right. you should say why you chose it and and what uh, religious figure you're reincarnated of. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to answer that part, but uh. Um, I have this cat, this Halloween cat, um, because it's a cat and that's my my thing. Uh, and also, it's scary. That's also partly my thing. Uh, and I like Halloween, you know, costumes and whatever. That's a pretty <laughs> good <laughs> reason. I don't know. That was a triple reason. <laughs> it's yeah. it's yeah. I could have brought my own chachki. You didn't <laughs> tell us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not. No, no, no we no, don't get a choice. We didn't oh, get chachki freedom. Well, no, no, no it's fine. Easy for you. This is how comedy works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Janae, it looks like you got a nice slipper there. You know, it, the, uh, um, it spoke to me. <laughs> it's a baby. It's a baby. <laughs> it, it, I mean, so many things came in my mind, and I tried to leave it and pick something else. She's Cinderella. She left. Something. There's yeah. there's some Cinderella elements. There's this. I mean, it has a life. Like it's been worn. Someone like was scooting in these. Perhaps someone's feet were bound. You know, it made me think Whoa. of that. It also kind of, it also kind of has a space, Deep. and it kind of also looks like food, like cake or Twinkie or something. It's just, there's a lot going on. And it also makes me think of babies, like baby oppressed babies. <laughs> <laughs> just so much Foot is going babies. on yeah. with it. Yeah. They can't it, even walk yet. It out. had a lot of life and so yeah. it was speaking. Do you like you like a narrative, you like a story, a history. Yeah, it, it yeah. called to me. There there was some other lovely stuff, but I was it kept This has got a life. That makes no sense. Choice. 
I love it. That's mm. great, Jordan. That's am, am I Buddha hard now? To top. <laughs> She's Buddha. <laughs> Jenny kind of, Buddha. Some kind of sad Pocahontas Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, uh, I have a, a rock. I think that's a good representative of me. Full of holes, <laughs> just <laughs> like me. <laughs> I'm solid, but man, there's a lot to fill. Oh. Uh, it's also, there's a lot of spots to put fingers, which <laughs> uh, read that as you may. And uh, oh, there's a little hidden something, a little something extra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what that means until until uh, you you go looking for it. So that's <laughs> all right. Full of holes, holes, and surprises. Did I freak out? Full of holes, full of surprises. Full of holes. Full of holes. Mm. Full of holes. God, so many and holes. holes. Just so many no. holes. No. <laughs> that's good. That's a good one. I think we're really getting to know our panel, and <laughs> the tables don't seem as bare. So yeah, uh, Rachel. That's sweet. Uh, I didn't help fill the table that much. I picked the tiniest astronaut. <laughs> Teeny. Uh, I liked him because he doesn't come with a ship, but he's got the outfit, you know, which I think is important. Like, dress for the job you want, um, <coughs> even if you don't have the degree. I also like that he's not comfortable standing or sitting. Um, <laughs> Just, just a real uncomfortable teeny dude, right there. Um, also, he's got, he's got a little, a little Velcro bottom, um, and no Velcro to stick to. You know, I think he's got aspirations, but he isn't sure where he wants to be yet. Is that too sad? <laughs> uh, Potentiality. Yeah. yeah. Like someday he could be in space, or he could, you know, waste away in a desk job. Uh, <laughs> Which is all of our reality. Yeah, that's all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, we just, Too we heavy just tapped into the human condition and it is bomb. not a good time. Yes. Uh, this is poetry. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you poetry makes you think. You know? Sometimes it doesn't make you. We need happier tchotchkes over there. These are so sad. Here we go. We're projecting. We're super projecting. There is the slide whistle. There, thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way. Now, how did you all come together? Let's find out the Pussy Bros origin story. You may be in the next Civil War We all have a Pussy origin story. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Some of us we, are waiting on that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stories had to be written. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, there is. Um, so we were all referred by Sam Talent to go to an Iowa comedy festival, and the fine by they're in a group called the Fine Gentlemen's Club, which you guys are are going to do an episode with them. But um, they, uh, Iowa, just assumed that since they were a group that we must be a group and yeah. like hey we really want to sell shirts when we get there and make more money. <laughs> so we were just like let's make a group for this festival and uh i thought of pussy bros i don't that I'll was you that um, it's a cat thing i can't yeah. help myself right. uh, <laughs> and i've always wanted to be a fine gent so like <laughs> like this is the right. best cool. like this was this is like I'll make my own too. Yeah. <laughs> they will Cheers. never let me. Uh, so it's been that's the that's the origin of it. And so and then once we got together, everyone's like, oh, I really like it. And so they're like, oh, I guess we'll do shows here. Yeah. 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 So that's how it's gone. So you thought of the name. You you mocked up the the logo or something. Mm -hmm. And yeah. boom. Yeah. We started doing a show first Fridays of the month at El Torito. Mm -hmm. um, Every month. Great yep, support yep, of room. Everyone. All right, congrats. Yes. First Friday, yeah, yeah El yeah. Torito, an amazing comedy venue. Mm -hmm. Definitely check it out here in Denver. Comedy room room. The comedy room room. <laughs> and yeah. so, <laughs> you have a clubhouse. From, uh, yeah. from, so now do you plan on taking this nice package and like going to festivals or going mm, to like touring package, all around? Yeah. You got a nice package, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like a pussy bros package. Uh, <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Next yeah, we right. think, yeah, we do plan on it. That would be <laughs> awesome. Um, one of the things with touring and being a woman is it's really hard to do that by yourself. Mm -hmm. And also the culture in Denver and just in comedy in general is a lot of men don't take women on the road with them. And so mm. going on the road together kind of uh, negates us having to get somebody else to want to go with you. But by yourself to me is not um, very much an option. Mm -hmm. That would not be safe or it's dangerous. Cool. Yeah. yeah, real dangerous. 
So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. uh, right. There's good those thing. extra elements of touring. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that's just in Denver? Or do you think kind of generally? I you think it's a, a lot I think it's a general statement, but I think there's some cities that are better about it. Mm -hmm. About uh, headliners actually considering to take women on the road. Right. And other that's so cities weird. are not as good. Denver is such a like inclusive, welcoming place in my mind. So that's kind it of is. Strange. I don't think it's not that. <laughs> I, I I don't think that it's like a. A not welcoming thing. It's just not the first thing people ever think of. They're like, who am I going to take on the road? Yeah. Who do I want to most like hang out with? Who do I want to sleep in the same room as? Like True. those kind of things. Simplifies people things just they're just like pick a dude. It's just easier. Yeah, and it must yeah. be easier um, for you for to road buddies <coughs> to fall out. So so to yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. I mean sure. Went all the way to Iowa yeah. in, a, in the Rav Four. Yeah, and, uh, weeks. Behind the wheel for the yeah. yeah. Drive like the Behind the wheel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. Well, there's got to be some, uh, you know, rolls. Everyone, you know, some yeah. tunes. She's a young one. Someone's she's got heavy good eyes. Yeah. <laughs> she's got good dexterity. She can stay up later than the okay. rest who's of a knives, <laughs> Who's a knife specialist? Chris, you got to bed. Yeah, I will. Yes. You got to yeah. have that. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were the party. I was like, yeah, we're the ones that's supposed to, you know, go to the tour bus. We're the party. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We're you the bros. guys are bros. different group. I mean, there yeah. aren't comedy groups. That, I mean, the fine gents, for all their strengths, are a pretty general looking comedy group. You know? Yeah, we did, mm. we did like make a joke that we're the most, it's not even a joke. This is just a true statement. We were trying to write a joke <laughs> off of it that we're the most diverse comedy group in Denver um, and so we were trying to decide like Rachel what what cause yeah what's my story? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the white man <laughs> <laughs> Telepathy. We're like, if, yeah, you, yeah. if you eat Man's more, party. you can be the fat one. I need to be, like, yeah, I, yeah. I need a, a gimmick real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make like, a quick life choice. In, in, in Iowa, you're the one that doesn't get everyone arrested. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's how. Yeah. She's yeah. our ambassador. She's the, I'm the ambassador. Yeah. Yeah. The ambassador. Thank yeah. you. We need her. That's why you she drives. Get in trouble, give him Rachel. It's just more than that she Right. And Jenny never drives. No. Uh, we'll get pulled up with me. Slide down. DJ? I lay down. I did a lot of DJing. I lay low. So what, how, how does the lineup work? Do you all do equal amount of time, or do you change up the lineup at all, or or do you all go up on stage together? I haven't seen. The show. We um, yeah we we so far we've gone up in the top just all together just to sort of you know introduce ourselves. We've only done uh, two shows in town together, um, and Sam Talent, who brought us together, was supposed to headline our first show, and he bailed. So <laughs> I headlined it. Um, uh, other yeah. than that. Which was Perfect. That's good. It, exactly. it, it, it was, it was great. That's a lesson. That's a yeah. Oh, is that poetic? <laughs> I I couldn't uh, replace him with somebody else that was uh, either just as funny as me or less so, and give them the headline spot. So I was like, well, I will just do that. Step up to the plate. Yeah. So it was great. It was perfect. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, I think yeah, we'll just do. Uh, equal amounts of time, and it's there to showcase some of our friends and build our own material and mm -hmm. all of that. And it's just a great room. Matt Orrin, the owner of El Trito, is just so supportive, and that's like the number yes. one thing when it comes to um, doing a, a, a show is that they really need to have a supportive thing. He's created a whole other room in his restaurant called the Room Room for us specifically. It's mm -hmm. like, what, why is this happening? It's like so nice. So it's like, why not? Mm -hmm. Other people are like, are you gonna go somewhere else? Do you wanna try? And I'm like, why? There's no, I mean, Let's keep to start out. Good yeah, to yeah. so, so supportive. That's mm -hmm. just number one. It was nice on the, during the festival, I feel like we all went in different orders mm -hmm. and it really didn't matter. But each time I was really, it was really nice to see these women go up there and crash. I was like, yeah, this is great. This is a good show. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I brought the good show. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, don't worry, are they going to do well or yeah, not? Yeah, it's, no. it's, they're going to do well, and the audience is going to like them. I, I kept watching, I was like, this is, this is really nice. We should take this somewhere. This is really <laughs> nice. so. Whoa, we're good at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good feeling. Well, uh -huh. Before we move on, just uh, while we're talking about women in comedy, when is, is this going to stop being a label? When are people going to stop introducing comedians? Is the next comic a lady comic? Like, <laughs> obviously, that's been a pet peeve for <coughs> years. Yeah. Two weeks. 
I don't. <laughs> like, I, I've never heard that before. I have yeah. never heard that. Yeah. Um, I, bringing up a comic as a lady comic is weird. That's your own thing. I don't necessarily want to drop the, la the label because I think that we bring something really powerful to the table in a different perspective, and I wouldn't want to lose that whatsoever. But um, it just has to change. The connotation with it hopefully mm. will change. But yeah. I don't do want think, the label like, the to go anywhere. When can be comedy clubs are like, hey, it's ladies' night. Mm. Where all uh, ladies come out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get us. Uh, women yeah. don't kill. Yeah. Yeah. Queens of comedy. Is it awful just like what? misguided? They're trying to do the right thing by showcasing, but they're doing it the wrong way. They're trying, but usually showcasing their own sort of like. Right. Bias. And it's like, oh, it's, 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 about it. it's like, very yeah. weird that a man is producing a show picking who the best, wo like they get to, yeah. a man mm -hmm. still gets to decide who yeah. the queens of comedy are. Well, the thing, it's like, oh, the right. The thing that bothers me about shows like that, especially, is because they book a full showcase of women and give everybody less time than they would normally. Right, so they were like, we'll pick eight ladies and give them all eight minutes or whatever. It's just like, maybe just give the headlining spot to a woman every once in a while and you'll be fine, yeah. you know? Right. <laughs> like, other than, <laughs> hey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just irritating where you're like, look how many there are, instead of like, look how funny these people, like this yeah. woman is, look how funny. Mm -hmm. And giving, somebody yeah. uh, was brought up uh, this idea of giving some of the women who are just starting out the opportunity to get on stage and do a little more time because they haven't had that time. Mm -hmm. You know, the women that I'm meeting, they're kind of approaching comedy a little differently than men. They're studying it first, they're coming in a little bit older, mm -hmm. with a little more life experience. Mm -hmm. And they're not necessarily being brought in by one of the homies who can get them up on the stage mm -hmm. immediately and allow them a chance to fail. They're walking in like, I need to be prepared when I get here. Right. There's yeah. also, going back to the road thing, there's like comics that are a couple years behind me that have gotten 10,000 times more road time because a man took them on the road. So I don't feel bad for getting space in town for being a woman because you get a whole th right. three weeks on the road that I would never get offered because the headliner's uncomfortable traveling with me right. or whatever. And I think that gives the women more drive to succeed in this field because it's incredibly difficult to do it. Like you mentioned, instead of somebody, uh, an MC saying, uh, this next comedian coming to stage, she's very funny. Let's say this next comedian coming to stage, she's very funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just, it just points out. I, I I got on stage the other night and the host introduced me. A host who's really seasoned and was like, "The next oh, our next uh, this next woman is a comedian. Comedian. Oh, oh, comedian. Comedian. Next lady is comedian. Yeah. Comedian. Not ironically. Not ironically. No, it's exciting. Like, you got to say the you. word. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Let's talk about you know. Think about my <laughs> vagina before I open my mouth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> let's start. Let's start assessing this shit. But if you right. started in the early '80s, you would be a comedian, and that will never change. Oof. When it came out, right? They don't have like. <laughs> that was the, that was I mean, the okay, lingo. I but the, the language is changing, so I, I can totally. Yes. I'm like, I'm not going to fault you know people for what they said 20 years ago. It's like mm -hmm. now we've decided right, that right, the right. language has right. changed. Remember 20 years ago when they said this next Dr. Ann that was <laughs> yeah. coming actress, to do surgery. I, I'm, you know, I'm starting to turn <laughs> against <laughs> actress. <laughs> You know, there's no, yeah, I heard on the radio, they, they, there's this fantasy commercial, and part of it, they're describing this little girl's imagination, imagining herself being a, a female scuba diver. Female <gasps> scuba diver. <laughs> is that what she's imagining? She swims with her vagina. <laughs> 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 That's how it works. Yeah, the vagina, oh, the yeah, it just like expels water, you know? <laughs> Great, great American 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 it's comedy. It shouldn't yeah. be different. Yeah, and you shouldn't be, uh, you know, introducing people by their race either mm -hmm. and their culture. You don't. Have, you can introduce that comic and allow them to do their job and kind of lay it all out. Because I'm going to talk a lot about being a lady. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk mm -hmm. a lot about being black. That's just my experience. I don't need you to announce that for me. Yeah, I, I'll do it. The, the subtlety of intros is like so important. <laughs> like to plant that that little seed of whatever the comedian's going to do. And mm. right, any good intro giver knows, don't put any spin on it unless they ask you, unless yeah. they're telling you to mm -hmm. set up a joke or something like that. 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's just yeah. talk about some current events and stuff. Um, Got it. The election? Is that too? That's too much to jump into right now. Oh. <laughs> who's who's okay, going for Hillary? Trump. That's I mean, pretty Trump. heavy. Hillary Trump, right? I just want Trump to somebody to ask him in an interview. Do you for real want to be the president, dude? Yeah. 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 You don't think? Oh my God. Right? I want somebody to stop him at the dude. For real, right? <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, ah, just kidding, like, no, no, no. I just kidding, I don't know if I could go. I keep, I keep on. having a joke. Kelly. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Mm. For real, dude. For real. For he's real. Right mm. yeah. and it's crazy. It seems like he's using the presidency, the president of the United States, as like a resume Promotion. builder. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like <laughs> entrepreneur and president <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump. I had a joke that, like, I, I, and I still kind of believe it that. I want to believe that this is like his improv class and it's like a performance on oh, yeah. Like every Wednesday, he's up with some 22 year olds in their improv class going like, oh guys, what should I do this week? <laughs> that's what I want it to be. Uh, Throw and I, a race. I do. Throw a race. I'm, I'm really, um, I mean, I don't want him to win whatsoever, but I'm really interested and going to be fascinated about how he changes everything he says now and goes mm -hmm. more to the center. Like, he doesn't mean anything he's saying. Mm -hmm. And it's really fascinating to me that um, watching people follow it. And it's really scary. I, I, I studied scary. like it's World terrifying. War II history in college. Like I'm a history teacher. So like watching the parallels between him and Hitler and the way that people are following Trump is, is terrifying. It's so, real, huh? Mm -hmm. Demagoguery, as they yes. call it. Yep. Love that word. It's the first time it's been an election where I've been terrified word. of the outcome. Yeah. First yeah. time ever. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, uh, talk about well, <laughs> being less inclusive. Just and seeing what pisses people off, and it's working, and it's scary. Talk people are so Why is it angry. On so They're into not it. the majority, but obviously a large part of the country like resonates with some. It's like we're watching the next 20 years of History Channel specials <laughs> happening yeah. live. <laughs> <and> I just <laughs> horrible. <laughs> well, good. good. Yeah. Off the aliens. I think while, that right? things are. <laughs> I think that things are changing so much that it's uh, it's all just fear. Like it's yeah. all anxiety and fear mm -hmm. that people are are feeding off of, and they maybe their community or their area hasn't changed, but they're watching the the country as a whole change and that happened a lot with Obama and this is just reactionary and it's it's very scary. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean I think I think like the the problems with the media are are also half the reason that people support Trump though, you know? Because half the reason every people are like everybody hates Trump because the media tells them to hate Trump. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no 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 wait. The media is shitty but also whoa whoa yeah uh, you can't just discount right. everything that you're reading exactly. because there's problems with the media like we there saw. is there is problems with the media but it like you can't discount everything but what Trump is saying we to saw you. him right. talk about his dick on national television like, like yeah. it happened that's, that's a it's new a law. real that's real a thing like, I don't know. Things he <laughs> did if Obama say. did that I'd be like I'd All be like, right. hell yeah. <laughs> you do it with style, though. Be like, mm. That's true. Context matters. That's true. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Um, Speaking of privates. Hey. <laughs> in the South, I guess they're having problems or they're, they're reenacting laws, bathroom laws. Ooh, this is just, we're going to figure this out. What Freedom what? laws. Yeah, and actually, North Carolina, who was the, the main perpetrator of these laws, was actually just sued by the federal government. Uh, the mm -hmm. attorney general is yeah. like, no. Not gonna be <laughs> the first I've heard of this. What? <laughs> 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 you had no idea. What is that? What's going what? on? <laughs> well, <laughs> we decided. Well, I was thinking. It's people want bidets. Some people don't want bidets. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, that would make more sense. Sense. It should just now. be toilet separated. I, I don't mind toilet separation, but it should be separated based on you know if you're going to pee or if you're going to poop. You shouldn't be pooping oh. in the pee bathroom. No gender at all. Just one or two. Is a great yeah. one or two. One or two. That's how we that divide. There you go. What if I want to throw it? There's a sink. There's You're a, a waste basket. Get your shit together. Shut it up. <laughs> go home already, baby. <laughs> <laughs> One or two, I'm doing my makeup in there, you know. Sure. Yeah. How many dudes coming in to drop a deuce right there, you know? Like, or ladies. Doesn't matter. Or ladies. Yeah, yeah. nobody they needs to be They try to be yeah. quiet and be like, I still smell it. Come on. Okay. We're doing our makeup in here. Um, <laughs> but North Carolina, I'm embarrassed by them. I have family in North Carolina, and 
I'm so disappointed with them, how angry they seem to be getting. Like, it's, it's hard to read stories or flip through any of these videos because people are so angry uh, and so, it's based on fear mm -hmm. and wild things are being said by seemingly normal people and it's, it's, it's disappointing. It goes back to the media. The media is perpetrating this fear, this unfounded fear mm -hmm. that, uh, that transgender people are, are, are perverts and molesters and that any trans person going into the bathroom is there to get your kid or, or, or rave somebody, which speaking from experience, I just go to the bathroom. I, I yeah. that's <laughs> that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. Not trying to make any friends in there. No, yeah, no. and 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 they're they're trying to push this fear, and nobody reads the fact there has been zero trans people who have attacked anybody in the bathroom. More than three senators have, though. Right. Unfortunately, yeah. 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 There you go. Exactly right. The the, the party that's so obsessed with with monitoring everyone's genitals, like. <coughs> just came out the old Speaker of the House, Dennis Hasper, mm -hmm. was touching little boys. Mm -hmm. yep. While being the Speaker of the House of the Republicans. Yeah. Jesus. And yeah, that somehow the hypocrisy doesn't resonate, right? Mm -hmm. it's just like they don't think that they're like, oh, well, that's just a week. That's just a different. That's not me. It's like, well, <laughs> exactly. well, they 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 think they're right in in justifying the fact that all trans people are are uh, are attackers. And I agree. It like don't put. Uh, molesters in the bathroom. I mean, they they can find their own spots. They're not <laughs> outside. Yeah, no, a a right. sign. <laughs> if there's some way to pick that out, you can't even pick that out. It's like no, a sign's not going to keep somebody from entering the bathroom. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't think a child molester is going to go into a Target in the middle of the day just to attack somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're, it's much more, uh, <laughs> speaking from experience, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a much more grooming, it's a much rigorous grooming process to find a child to molest that you guys. guys. <laughs> you yeah. just go into any bathroom. Several interviews? Yeah, exactly. I'm just going to, no, uh, when we were in Ames, I was in the bathroom and I hit my head. <laughs> yeah. I, That's what we should be watching. <laughs> real. I hit my people. head on the door as I was walking out and then it like knocked me down and I, <laughs> Uh, then I fell and I fell on the ground, so I'm not going to use bathrooms anymore. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They're overrated. They're <laughs> way overrated. I'm done. Yeah. They Nature. had it all painted Nature. like a forest, even the doors. <laughs> like, I couldn't see it. It was like camouflage. I didn't see the forest. It was scary. I couldn't see it. It was camouflaged. The door was camouflaged, <laughs> and I hit it with my face. Those indoor forests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, man. we're oh, getting to that point uh, to. to <laughs> Really quickly, <laughs> we asked you guys to have a topic. Uh, we talk about comedy. Or do you want to talk more about comedy, or you want to talk not about social? Comedy now. You comedy? Uh, yeah. Unless it's an aspect of comedy. Else you know? Well, I'm okay. Uh, right now, I'm trying to move to a new apartment in Denver, mm. and it is so hard oh, wow. um, to find a place that isn't gone in just seconds, and that I can afford, and that isn't you know so far away from stuff. That's and I mean, that's like the he the biggest debate right now in it that the Westward handles really is like, is it good that all these people are coming in? Is it bad that all these people are coming in? I don't know. I mean, I'm new here. Janae's relatively new here and we've got, you, you both are both Colorado locals, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, what is your thought on You're that? You're not transplant half not here. Hello? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's even for me, I've gone from moving, I went, from Pennsylvania to Clarkson to Colorado, like it just keeps pushing me east, east, mm. east. That's how I can afford it. I live with an ex-boyfriend right now. That's how awesome my rent situation <laughs> is. Um, it's a really and, cute dog, uh, though. Yeah, it's Worth a cute it. dog. It's a cute dog. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it is. It's really tough, and it's every year. Like I, if if I was on a lease, I'd be freaking out. And I even see, pe like developers have been sniffing around like my apartment building to maybe purchase it out yeah. and I'm just like please god no like it's terrible so it's scary and we should all move to Detroit and just make that place very cool yeah. all comics mm -hmm. they're just everyone yeah. yeah they like sell whole lots and houses there for a dollar that's abandoned <laughs> and shit so turn that lead into gold baby <laughs> I, you already don't need a bathroom you said no you I'm yeah. good I'm all set <laughs> <laughs> I'm all yeah. set so this is yeah. a call for every comic in the country 
<laughs> to move to Detroit. Yeah. And we'll just have a big, funny city. Oh, oh it'll be, be like so a, fun. Can we do, oh my god, it's going to be like hilarious 8 Mile. Yeah. 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 What about like 8 Mile? Are we going to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I call the mic. I call the so Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> the rent is... the. The rent is weird. The weed, I want to say something about the weed. The weed is causing the rent problem mm. also, because people are coming here. But uh, weed is causing a comedy problem for me. Oh. Hey. <laughs> like all the, uh, every, I think you need to learn comedy before you're going up there very high all the time. And a lot of the newbies are not doing that. And they sound retarded. Nope, I don't want to say that word. They sound very dumb, okay? And they sound, uh, sorry I used that word. I feel very bad about it. Edit, edit. All right, thank you. Uh, (laughs) But they all, it's just like, they're not consistent. They don't, they don't stick with any, they don't, they're not able to work on their material because they're too hot. Like, it's like, if you want to do this, fucking do it. Like, I'm so, it's making me mad to more, the more I watch open mics. Like, like comedy should be the drug. Uh, it is the drug if you you're do, if you're doing this right. It's pure enough. If uh, if I was bad at it, maybe it wouldn't do it for me as much. I'm right. not like, sure. Right. I still I do not go on stage high. I just I, I do not at all. I don't. I try not to drink a lot, like a lot before I go on stage, just because you don't remember your material. You don't <laughs> deliver stuff well. You don't remember what you said on yeah. stage. Why make like, you self subconscious? S- there's a whole extra. series of, of problems with that in yeah. general. It also makes you less bookable because even if you have a good set you can't recreate it in the same way. Mm -hmm. So why would anybody book you to do that again? Because they don't, they can't trust that you could recreate that. Yeah. Sure. Weed yeah. doesn't make you, you funny. Maybe. It makes other things funny. Okay. There you go. <laughs> right. Yeah. Audience smoke weed, not comedians. There you Rachel's go. pretty new to you comedy, but yeah. she just makes better decisions. So that's why, like, I feel like she works <laughs> out in this. Cue the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the number one thing that's, we didn't know, like, it came together so organically, and it was because of, of Sam just kind of referring all of us. Kind of but not wanting to mm-hmm. take us as his own Yeah, feature. he didn't want to take <laughs> us as his own feature. <laughs> so he was like, like, they could huh. go together. Smush, <laughs> smush that that together. is very <laughs> legitimate. Exactly. Uh, right. But the fact that the we, behemoth made some space. we all want this, smushable. we all want this, and the work ethic is there, and, and we're all at different points in comedy, for sure. Um, and But the number one thing is that we all want it just the same. Like, we want. We, we want, want to work. be good. We want we to do the work. It. It's and important to be good. Synergy. I think mm-hmm. they call it's it. important mm-hmm. to be good. That's when you're with some people too, you yeah. don't want to be the one who's not funny. So like, oh, we're yeah. all going to like do our <laughs> shit. <laughs> work my home. worst. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> not it. No. Yeah. <laughs> we all want to be yep. funny. So this is great. So you have a wonderful future ahead. We hope so. Pussy bro. Pussy bro. Look quick. Look quick. Where can we reach you guys individually uh, and also as the Pussy Bros? Um, I'm on at Kabuksy on Twitter, C-A-B-U-C-H-S-Y, and then I post all my stuff on Facebook. I also have a podcast with a, an L.A. comic, uh, Haley Driscoll, called Empty Girlfriend. Empty Girlfriend. EmptyGirlfriend.com. You guys can check that out as well. Great right. podcast. You can see Christy at Comedy Works <laughs> weekly. Oh, right. I'm there every week. Also, <laughs> yeah, you can see her work. Um, I'm at Negative Negro on um, Twitter and Instagram. Uh, our group though is at Pussy Bros Comedy. Um, yeah, because somebody else had Pussy Bros already. So on the internet, what up, no. dude? <laughs> it was a Pussy Riot all male uh, cover right. band. Just this dude, uh, just wow. egg Pussy oh, Bros. Oh Jesus! I was like, how did you know that? That's amazing. <laughs> NPR. <Okay. laughs> right. yeah. I mean, how many works sometimes too? Yeah, you are. She is there a lot. I'm there. Both crushing it over there. Thank you. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Jordan Comedy. You can go to my website, comedianjordan.com. And I'm also at Comedy Works, usually in the audience. <laughs> great. You run, tell them about your Oh, that's right. I, uh, I run a monthly comedy and burlesque show uh, called so Something fun. Fabulous oh my God. at Blush and Blue last Saturday of the month. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We're on that, you on that? Yes. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a good one. That's going to be a party. You were booked. Uh, I was. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm on Twitter at Rachel G. Weeks. And I'm also on Tumblr at rachelgweeks.tumblr.com, and that's where I post all my comedy dates, and on Facebook. And I'm starting a show that is the fourth Monday of every <laughs> month at Berkeley Untapped, um, and that's going to be really fun. Yeah. Show. What about some of your writing? 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I uh, well, I write for a website called Divine Caroline. They're changing the name. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so it Too like girly. A it's out. a TV show it, blog. It sounds like. Yeah, like a like a TV show that Hillary Duff would have been on, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but she's like a witch. It's like a Sabrina knockoff. Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, at, at the school, just how supportive you are of each mm -hmm. other, at reminding yeah. each other of your all own stuff successes. We do. <laughs> it's a good sign. I got my hands off her coattails like what this, and all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's bro! Yeah. 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 Well, to uh, close things up, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure to showcase yet another aspect of Denver's incredible comedy scene. Uh, my name is Daniel Reskin. You can follow me at Daniel Reskin and DanielReskin.com. And look out for this show on Denver Open Media. If you vote for it, apparently it goes on actual television. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. On the Comcast. Uh, oh, hello, oh, credits. What? Like yeah. real live TV. Like, like, like the real thing that all of our parents what? watch. <laughs> 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 our parents, uh, something we don't really on care my, about. My but resume, yeah, that thing. Uh, and I'm Adrian Mesa. Check me out on Mesa Dia on Twitter. And also my comedy <laughs> works a lot. Denver Open Media, thank you for having yes, us you. in thank the Casa you. de Ha Ha Thank you, show. audience. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Pussy bros. Us. Have a great night. And time today. And rehearsal's done, so you guys ready to... <laughs> <laughs> I know, we'll come back and reshoot. And I'll wear something.